Aaron and I are standing here on the floor now with former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, who was here ringing the bell, commemorating uh, 30 years of U.S.-China relations, which, of course, were made possible by the uh, hard work that uh, Secretary Kissinger did while serving under President Nixon. And uh, we welcome you, sir. Thank you very much for being Good with us. Good to be here. Uh, the obvious first question is the situation in Gaza. What is that's an area of the world you have worked uh, very hard on. What is your view? How serious is this? Uh, uh, we have to remember, Israel withdrew from Gaza unconditionally in 2005. And they are reacting to rocket attacks that have been launched out of Gaza. So. The problem is, can those rocket attacks be stopped? And then they will have to stop their military operations. It's a complicated situation, but it's one that I believe uh, will be solved because uh, if peace is to evolve in the Middle East, Israel has to take its responsibilities, but the moderate Arab nations have to take responsibilities for the conduct of Israel's neighbors. Do you believe that this is, uh, some people say that rocket, everything will stop a few days before the Obama uh, inauguration, that this is all very politically motivated. Uh, do, you, do you think that's true? I think it's a continuing process. The fundamental problem is can uh, uh, Gaza conduct itself in a way that it is not a military threat to Israel? Then. There will have to be a negotiation eventually, not and soon, between Israel and the Palestinians uh, about an overall peace settlement. What do you think the most important thing is for Barack Obama? Obviously, you're here to talk about uh, the anniversary for U.S.-China diplomatic relations, but if you had to say this is going to be the country or the conflict or the place that will define the Obama administration, what would it be? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the president-elect is coming into office at a moment when there are upheavals in many parts of the world simultaneously. You have India, Pakistan, you have, you have uh, uh, the uh, jihad movement. So he can't really say that it's one problem, that it's the most important one. Uh, but he can give a new impetus to American foreign policy, partly because the reception of him is so extraordinary around the world. I think his task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. It isn't such a crisis. Are you confident about the people uh, President-elect Obama has chosen to surround him because he does not have a great deal of experience? No, he's, uh, he has appointed an extraordinarily able group of people in both the international and financial field. Mr. Secretary, we thank you very much for your time. Dr. Kissinger, thank Appreciate you very it. much.